Hey there! In this video, we're diving into everything you need to know about OBD2 trouble code P0028. First, let's understand what the P0028 code is. The P0028 code is triggered when the ECM detects that the actual camshaft position doesn't match the desired camshaft position. Specifically, this code points to an issue with the camshaft position actuator circuit for Bank 2, referring to the intake camshaft. Now let's learn what is Bank 2, intake camshaft. In the case of V6 or V8 engines, there are two camshafts, Bank 1 and Bank 2. For dual overhead camshaft, DOHC engines, there are two camshafts per bank, intake and exhaust. The exhaust camshaft controls the opening and closing of the exhaust valves. Now, Bank 2 typically refers to the opposite side of the engine where Cylinder 1 is located. So now let's learn why P1028 was triggered. Your engine's camshaft position sensor is constantly measuring the position of the camshaft and sending that data straight to the ECU. ECU using it to control the variable valve timing, or VVT, solenoid. Depending on the engine load and speed, the ECU sends pulse commands to the VVT solenoid to either advance or delay the camshaft's position. The VVT solenoid then makes the necessary adjustments to the cam phaser, ensuring your engine is performing efficiently and smoothly. If the ECU detects that the camshaft's advance or delay is taking too long, or if it simply can't reach the desired camshaft position, that's when the PSABADUN 28 code gets triggered. Now that we know what P2028 means, let's find out how to fix it. Troubleshooting P2028 involves several steps, and we'll discuss each one in detail. Let's get started. Before diving into specific repairs, perform an OBD2 scanner reset to clear the codes. Sometimes these codes pop up due to recent maintenance work and can resolve themselves after a reset. To reset the error codes, use an OBD2 scanner. You can find the best OBD2 scanner using the link in the description below. Simply connect the scanner to your vehicle, follow the instructions to clear the trouble codes, and see if the P0028 code reappears. If the code comes back, it means there's a persistent issue that needs further troubleshooting. The first step is to scan for any other activated OBD2 codes. This helps us pinpoint where we need to focus. If there are other codes related to a faulty camshaft sensor, we should focus on the camshaft sensor. Similarly, if there are codes related to the VVT solenoid, that's where our attention should go. Step 2. Visually inspecting the cam sensor and the VVT solenoid. Visually inspect the cam sensors and VVT solenoid and their harnesses for damage. Look for broken or frayed wires. If you find any, repair them and recheck. If the cam sensor and VVT solenoid are physically damaged, they need to be replaced. To find the right crank and VVT solenoid for your car make and model, check the link in the description. If both the crank and VVT solenoid, along with their harnesses, are in good condition, but the P1028 code still persists, further troubleshooting is required. Step 3. Test VVT actuator and cam sensors. You can test the VVT actuator and cam sensors using a multimeter. The process can vary depending on the type of cam sensor you have. If your vehicle uses a Hall Effect sensor, the testing method will differ from that of a permanent magnetic sensor. To learn more about testing VVT actuator and cam sensors, check out our detailed video on this topic. Step 4. Checking the engine oil level. First, you'll want to check your engine oil level. Pull out the dipstick, wipe it clean, reinsert it, and then pull it out again to see where the oil level is at. If your oil level is low or the oil looks dirty, it's time for an oil change. Dirty oil can cause issues with the VVT system, leading to that P1028 code. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth automotive diagnostics and repair guides. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos.